Uh, right. I'm here for this match. All right, that's bad, though. We got Leon. We Ooh. got Beast. Yeah. And shout out, you know, shout out to Dave having a ton of just uh, a ton of events under his belt over this season, whether it be the New Jersey circuit that he's inspired by or just a a second win of competitive fire. Like he made top eight at Riptide, yeah. he made top sixteen at or uh, top thirty two rather at Smash Factor, like the, on top of winning a bevy of locals, like Leon has been fiending lately. Yeah, he's been on the grind. We've seen the hiatus, he was on he was just dreaming. Yeah, he was yeah. dream Leon for a bit. And now he's back to the competitor himself. Still streaming. Check out his stream. Really good stream. Very fun vibes. Yeah. Still, same thing could be said for Joel, but in the the difference maker of Joe of uh, the Leon grinding versus uh, Beast is that Beast is always grinding. Yeah. So never stops. So the question then becomes like, while Leon is always it has that like sense of on and off again. Yeah. Beast, you have to under, you have to wonder like at some of the brackets he attends, is he learning? Is he adapting? Is he improving? And over this season, it's been a lot of yes. Yeah. No, definitely. I definitely see okay, Very great nice. tech roll. And I definitely see Beast improving so much. Like the, from like the point where the, when this game started to see now like the mix-ups he like was known for just a Charizard before. Definitely capable of all three now, and them being a threat. Before, like, a year ago, you would not have seen this Gordo try to fight Leon. Oh, right. Not a snowball's chance in hell. But I've, I've been really enjoying this Squirtle play as well. These landing back airs are also threatening because they set up into combos like these. But he mixed up his fastballs on shield, he mixed in cross-ups, like just taking advantage of the multi-hit on block. It's been super nice to see, but you've got to get out of the corner against Leon. and. Man, that is so hard. Coming down aggressively. Well played by these guys. Yeah, okay. Tried to cover the double jump over. And we've seen the spot dodge come out. And the S Master cover all the options. Couldn't get the down there right there. But catches Leon's jump. This is down there, right? Oh, oh okay. Mm. I guess not. I, he gra so he <laughs> wanted the down air, but because he pressed a button. Okay, up air going to kill him right there. But because he pressed a button, he auto snapped to ledge when right. you press a button there. An um, attack button there. That's tough. Uh, excellent frame, uh, excellent uh, frame trap as well by Leon, and now we're just getting the ball rolling. Instant 22%. Bowser's snowball is so insane just because his raw damage output is that wild. Yeah, I, trust me, I know. I, oh. I, just, I got messed up oh, by him up earlier. Oh, oh seven, correct you. <laughs> oh, 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 but Beast is messing him up right oh, now. Oh my god. All right, that's two neutral tech reads, by the way. Two yeah. tech uh, option reads with an up air and an up smash. So. Leon, normally he's the one that's accruing a lot of information right from the jump, but this time it seems like it is, it's Beast that was accruing all that information and now it's cashing out. Yeah, and he's been catching Leon trying to be reverse fire a whole bunch. And he's definitely saying, it's like the new thing he likes to do in his neutral. Okay, hitting him back off, saying, don't play with me, but you tech roll, you die. But that buffered roll, man. Yeah. That buffered roll from ledge, it, it is so scary, uh, particularly against Leon and against Bowser in general, because you have down angle forward tilt, you have yeah. flame breath, you have so much that is really, really tough to play through. And Leon especially, what I always am so impressed when I watch him play specifically is like from the jump, he's playing against you, his opponent. Yeah, no, this is a player to player when you right. fight him. Not like character versus player or character versus character. He is playing the person. Which works out for Bowser because Bowser is a character that has extremely specific like tools that are great, but just individual. Like, oh, in this situation, you upbeat. In this situation, you uh, you flame breath. Like, there's kind of just one option, and it's a mix up. It's a mix up of when you do it and what your opponent is afraid of in that moment. And Leon is great at dissecting those situations. Yeah, no. He is like the Joe Rogan Fear Factor Challenge. For sure. Oh, but no fear on the part of Beast. Empty hopping over that grab, then respecting the landing button. Joe has a ton of information going from. Okay, and I see why Squirtle's so good. Okay, getting the down smash right there. Squirtle Please. F smash is so strong for but, no reason. <laughs> he needs it. He needs it. True. He can only get kills with, uh, with tech chases anyway, so. Yeah. Good trade-off, but what was it? When um, Squirtle gets hit by Nair, he barely been popping up. It happened at least three times during this. this what was that? 
did he dash grab out of the corner and but he just I think he just ran up down beat him. He saw he was in the corner, he's but, like Yeah, I mean uh, Leon ran up and downbeat it, anticipating something and beast let Roos a grab, I think, but yeah. we take those? Y yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. They're like this game turned around so much into Leon's favor. Now he just losing the percentage, but Bowser being the heaviest character in the game, that doesn't matter as much. Not in this situation. We're gonna see the not going for the down B setup in order to grab ledge. Typically, Pokemon Trainer has a lot of struggles in the corner thanks to their uh, not as great airspeed. So interesting to see when we uh, when Twice. Leon was gonna take advantage of it, and that exactly was that moment. Scooping up before even the ledge snap. But then you find the up air beast bringing us to last stock yet again. He's able to take a lead in the last stock in game number one. Can he do so in game two before letting it all flutter? Rough air dodge in order to get back to stage, yeah. but hey, you're there. <laughs> and Yo. he is just headbutting. Oh, Squirtle, use headbutt. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Heart Gold Soul Silver, use headbutt on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're hunting for Vespa Plans. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting the years to use that. <laughs> So concerning. We're avoiding the platform though, so feeling all right thus far is Beast. You just gotta get back, don't jump! No. Any this... button but jump uh, there. <laughs> oh. I don't how. Just... You have two options. Either A, you react to it coming out beforehand, and you're able to put out something like a quick up air yeah. and intercept. Okay. A quick disjointed up air. Yeah. Or two, you say, I'm not messing with this risk reward, and you roll. I think he chose hidden option three. Die. Get hit. <laughs> <laughs> just, just. That's like he wouldn't even gotten hit if he stayed on ledge. It just it just would have trumped. Yeah, that's correct. Just. <laughs> uh, just. Sometimes it'd be like that. Yeah, I do know Beast doesn't like heavies as much. That's I like mean, double playing Charizard, so. Oh, I'm up. Uh -oh. oh, man. Uh -oh. Well, Ubo, guess you're solo casting. <laughs> we have, oh, a, you gotta, we have oh. a replacement. The revolving door of casting that is next to me will be filled by someone. Unless we just want to feed the mic down to Reggie and he can cast himself. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Who's the next player up on my block? <laughs> You can do it. No, it's, there's no the letters. Here's the letters. <laughs> Hello. Can Hello. You hear me? Uh, yeah. Okay. How are you feeling there? Uh, great, man. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, today I played uh, Gon's Game of Watch, trying to fish for nine, into Haven trying to grief me with Kazuya, and now my reward is a uh, Bowser, who I'm like negative uh, ten thousand sets on. <laughs> It's been a it's been a rough road. <laughs> it's every week, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Jersey, everybody. <laughs> Where we watch our the captain of Team Fundies go against the the, the myriad of gimmicks. Uh, Center to six. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, dipping on the losers first, though. I was gonna say, who do we have up? I think it's gonna be Haven and Player Four. That's actually a pretty good set. Yeah, I, I assume that Haven would be going either Wario or Corrin. I doubt we would I'd see I'd be kind of surprised if I didn't see Corrin, but he told me earlier when he was going into the Chris set that he wasn't feeling... He, I don't know, because the way he worded it was that he wasn't comfortable with Corrin. I don't know if that meant that he's not comfortable with Corrin in general or just against Ness, but we'll, I guess Maybe. we'll see pretty soon. Yeah. But I think Wario and, uh, and Corrin are both, one, viable picks in the matchup, and two, I think they both do pretty well. And Haven's sure. play is good for Peach because he's very defensive. Yeah, with Punish Connoisseur. So yeah. all you need to do is make sure that uh, that you're baiting, baiting Reggie into pressing some sort of aggressive option, which Reggie typically likes to try and set up pressure on shield anyway. Mm -hmm. So playing the classic dashback game can just go so well for you. Yeah. Especially because like, uh, Wario has out shield options uh, on both sides. So right. a lot of the times he doesn't have to worry about like uh, like Peach doing like an aggressive cross up or anything like that. He can just run up shield and then if she decides to press anything on a shield at all, he either forward airs or nares and it covers it pretty consistently. For sure. Uh, all we need to do, you know, is find our players. And what's the other side? It's Joel and it's Joe. Chris, I think. Yeah. It was, did PK Chris make the run? I haven't uh, been paying I heard he just beat Gons, which tells me that he probably did. 
<laughs> Sorry, I've lost to Gons in like four or five fusions in a row, and I'm getting very annoyed. <laughs> yes, Chris did beat Gon, so it is Beast and Gons and Haven player four. Actually, those, are, those should both be pretty good. Yeah. Am I, are they just going to call me? Are, oh, wait, are we doing top three next that's instead what, of losers? That's what I just heard him. I heard it being questioned. But I think we should just. Uh -oh. I think we should run Reggie to try to get him here. That's what I would think. Yeah. I was just, uh oh. They started their they, set wait, off they stream. Called. See ya. Bye, everybody. Say bye to Jackal. Bye, Jackal. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Just get Jimmy up here. He's probably down there with Geo. No, Geo. Is we Jimmy there? Everybody, finally, RJ. Damn. Uh oh. <laughs> Hi, RJ. This shouldn't be happening. No, it shouldn't. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? It was. <laughs> it was funny until I got on. Now it's not funny. Anymore. Now it's not funny. Yeah. No, no. Now it's sad. <laughs> I'm not commentating. I just like neither, to talk shit. Neither are any of the players. Anymore. Yeah, but you know, like <laughs> they're relatable. <laughs> I'm old. I, I've aged out. What? <laughs> <laughs> look at who! Look at how many of the casters that are on air every week or so. It's brawl vets, all of them. <laughs> yeah, but I'm older than them. I was old, even when. I wasn't old. 